What's up guys? We're back with another video. I'm Lex. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're actually going to be attending Toronto Fan Expo. This is our second time together, but this time around we're actually dressed up as my favorite superhero, Spider-Man. And I am Silk, who Spider-Man also favors in the comic books. If you guys go and take a look and read them, then you'll know who I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. Met up with my cousin, Post Malone. No, <laughs> now we're heading back to the other building that he just came from. Woo! A lot of walking. Get those nice. steps. In case you didn't notice, it is her birthday. The fan expo battle rap champion is always face me. So right behind us right now, guys, there is about to be a Fortnite dance competition. Do you think I should do it? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes? I don't know. Yeah, sure. All right, guys. We're almost ready here. Anyone who wants to enter this Fortnite dance contest, just get on the black carpet. All ages welcome. You didn't win. I know, but I get a consolation prize. Because it's your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Six Spider's birthday today. Woo! It's Kristen's birthday today, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the division. <laughs>
if you're watching this, they're here at oh, this booth. Oh, shit. With your brother. Oh, the Gomez Adams chase, too. Aisle 1100, come and get it, Randall. Yeah. All these exclusives that we can't even buy. I'm not spending that much for that. What's up? We just stopped for food. So hungry. It's like $90 for a pizza. Yep. So we're getting a hot dog and a bag of chips. <laughs> hey, thanks. Better than nothing though. We just want to give a big shout out to our brand new friend that we met here at Fan Expo. His name is Camulus Magnus. He was so sweet because it was my birthday and he actually bought both of us lunch. And we think that that's really awesome. So thanks to him. DC booth. That's not allowed. So we are back at the apartment now, if you couldn't tell. We are super tired, our legs are sore. Super sore. Just got out of our costumes. And plus we're matching, which makes it 10 times better. And we always love to do that. Yeah. <laughs> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you everything that we got from Fan Expo. So I will show one thing that I got, then Chris will show one thing that she got yeah. from the Expo. So I'll start. This is something if you, Watch the previous video, we are pop collectors. We are. And for myself, I finally managed to get this Bigfoot pop. This is limited to only Emerald City Comic Con and only 3,000 were ever made. So I have all the other ones. There's the snowy one, the blue and green one, marshmallow stick one, and one that looks like 6ix9ine. <laughs> Rainbow Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I actually ended up getting today was a piece of clothing, and that was from the EB Games booth where they were doing a contest for, believe it or not, a Fortnite dance competition. I did this for you, for my younger brother Aiden. I know you're watching out there. He is a avid lover of Fortnite still. He luckily is the one that taught me, and I ended up pulling it off 
and getting this awesome division shirt here. And then at the back it says Unite Tom Clancy's The Division 2, which is for the game. Yeah. I've, never, I've never played it. <laughs> and I got that in a size medium and it's a long sleeve too, just because fall's coming up and where we are in Canada, it starts to get real cold, real chilly. Yeah, that was the first thing I got and it was pretty cool. I didn't want to take that out. Okay, so the next one actually is the mystery box that I got. And to be fair, she was the one who convinced me to actually buy it. I did. Mm -hmm. And the mystery box that I got <laughs> was actually the Godzilla one. <laughs> yep. To be fair, if they had a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World one, I would have bought that, but I got this because it's the next best thing. This one's pretty heavy, but the person that we got these mystery boxes from said they like to fill these up with foam, and but but the items you get are worth equal to, if not more, than what you paid for. Yeah. And then, so the second thing I got was actually also a mystery box. And this is the Lilo and Stitch Disney edition one. I'm kind of excited to see what's in here because I am an avid lover of Lilo and Stitch, but mostly the Stitch part and uh, his little girlfriend, Angel, I think that they're absolutely adorable. We even have matching keychains yeah. in them too. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what's in here, but mine, it's unlike definitely his, lighter than mine. definitely a bit lighter, so we'll see. So this one we actually grabbed together. It's the little mystery box as well. So I guess two and a half. And the funny thing about this is that, so we, if we were to get two of these, we got this one for free. Uh, for free. Uh, now the next thing that I ended up getting, I ended up finding this really, really cool uh, metal bookmark. I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna come show you guys closer to the camera just so you can see. Yeah, it's, it's a full metal sheet. Damn, she looked good. Woo! Well, that, that was it on my end. Mm -hmm. Did you get anything? Actually, yeah, you did. And then I actually got a little bit more than he did because it was my birthday weekend this weekend, so <laughs> I kind of took liberty into my own hands. She took being, advantage of it. I totally took advantage of the entire thing. So I actually ended up finding this cute little booth there. And people always get mad and upset at me because I always say, oh, I'm not really a hero type. Most of my favorites, other than Silk, I guess, is a villain. Harley Quinn uh, is my absolute favorite. When I found this, I thought that it suited me so well and I just had to have it. And it's another long sleeve that says villain on it. It's super simple, but to be honest, I like it. Yeah, it was super simple, but as soon as I saw it, like, and for me, it's really hard to find clothes and stuff like this that I actually really like. And for some reason, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, yep, you gotta have it. So that was, was my second grab. This was grab. on the way out, too. Yep, and right. this was on the way out, which made it even better. Oh, look, and they also gave us a sticker. The, the Sean, the Sean Work Show. Show. The Sean Work Show. And then, yeah, that's it. Um, overall thoughts of Fan Expo this year? I thought that it was pretty it was really good. good. Yeah. A lot of walking. I'm disappointed that Funko didn't end up showing up. I find Artist Alley had a lot of the same things like posters yeah. and such more than last year. There was there was a lot of different types of trinkets, so that mm -hmm. was kind of disappointing. I mean, I was still happy with the vendors. Yeah, honestly, I think the only cool thing that was different that I didn't see from the previous years was the Lego booths. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen that. No. I think the coolest thing though was that all day, people just kept asking us for photos. Actually. This is the first time I've ever had that happen and the entire time that I was there, I saw one other silk and that was it. Also when we were together, we got quite a few with some families and some kids, which was really cute. Yeah, and I really only got kids to yell at me across the street. <laughs> we were walking back to the car and kids would roll down their windows and be like, Oh, Spider-Man, hey! And then, Little tired kids looking at me, waving at me, saying hi. Yeah. I thought it was, honestly, it was really cute. I, I, didn't, really I didn't get cute. many pictures, but I left, I left the mark. God, I wish we made a video of how many people wished me a happy birthday. You guys are amazing and so kind. And if one of you are to magically see this video, 
and you were one of the ones, thank you so much. Oh, I even, appreciate it. Even the EV Games spoof guy. Shout yeah. out, big shout out to him. We didn't get your name, but thanks for shouting her out. On, yeah. On the stage. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in, and hopefully we will see you guys in our next video. And that is for our unboxing of both our Lilo and Stitch, as well as our Godzilla mystery boxes, as well as our tiny little one that you guys saw. Click that subscribe button down below to make sure that you can see every other video that we post coming soon. Click that little bell so you can get notified whenever something interesting happens in our lives. Give us a thumbs up and comment on what you think is going to be in our mystery boxes. I'm really excited for mine. Yeah. It's heavy. Let us know what you guys think is down in there. Well, that's it for this video, you guys. We hope you really enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one.